limited number of fans will be able to attend March Madness games this year. The NCAA says that those venues uh, will allow up to 25% capacity with physical distancing protocols in place. The whole tournament will be played in Indiana in various venues. Capacities will vary depending on which venue is used at the time. Meanwhile, a recent spike in COVID-19 cases at UW-Madison. University health leaders say the significant increase in cases is both among students on and off campus. 112 cases reported Wednesday, 99 more yesterday. According to Wisconsin health officials, about 13% of Wisconsinites have received at least one dose of the vaccine. The state has administered over 1.1 million vaccines to date. A new COVID-19 vaccine center opened up today on the UW Oshkosh campus to help expand the vaccination effort. The folks who nursed a falcon young chick atop the WPS Western Power Plant are hoping she'll return to nest for the spring. The young peregrine falcon named Tundra and her brother Kringle were born last year as part of the power company's program to assist the species. Falcons are known to nest in tall structures, so they hope maybe she'll fly by to catch up. And the final total for the Give Big Green Bay campaign is in. In the fourth annual online giving event, more than $2 million was raised in a single day that wow. they were taking donations. The donations will go to local nonprofits across the area. There were more than 4,800 donors this year. That is up 82% from last year's campaign.